Good evening. Tonight it is Caleb's pick, and he has chosen him 327 as our final hymn for our online devotionals. God be with you till we meet again. We'll sing both verses of that hymn, hymn 327. God be with you till we meet again. By his counsels guide uphold you. With his sheep securely fold you. God be with you till we meet again. Till we meet. Till we meet. Till we meet at Jesus' feet. Till we meet. Till we meet. God be with you till we meet again. God be with you till we meet again. Neath his wings protecting hide you. Daily manna still provide you. God be with you till we meet again. Till we meet, till we meet, till we meet at Jesus' feet. Till we meet, till we meet, God be with you till we meet again. We are finishing up the book of Romans tonight, reading chapter 16, verses 17 through 27. I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Keep away from them, for such people are not serving our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own appetites. By smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of naive people. Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I am full of joy over you, but I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, sends greetings to you, as do Lucius, Jason, and Sopater, my relatives. I, Tertius, who wrote down this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, whose hospitality I and the whole church here enjoy, sends you his greetings. Erastus, who is the city's director of public works, and our brother Quartus send you greetings. Now to him who is able to establish you by, by my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery hidden for long ages past, but now revealed and made known through the prophetic writings by the command of the eternal God, so that all nations might believe and obey him. To the only wise God, be glory forever through Jesus Christ. Amen. Marcus? Um, after he talked about a lot of people, a lot of people who did good things for the Lord, he talks about people who will try to make you fall away and that he doesn't want the Romans going by them. Okay. Why? Why? Is he? Um, because if they fall away, they won't have um, heaven as their home. Yeah. Paul says that in a couple different places. He fears what Satan can do. Right? And so he asks the, the Romans to be cautious of those who would put obstacles in their ways and cause divisions, right? So be careful. Keep away. <clears throat> Caitlin. There's a shorter list of people who send their greetings. Okay. Another list of people who, who now send their greetings to the Romans. Right? Paul before had said, I want you to make sure you treat these people who are around you good. Um, but now he says there are some people that are on this side. 
that I that send their greetings to. Did anybody catch something in there that maybe perked up your ears? Who wrote the letter of the Book of Romans? Caleb. Uh, I um some name with a T. Okay. <laughs> T uh, was it? It was uh, Tertius, right? Um, yeah, Tertius, who wrote down this letter, greet you in the Lord. So Paul um, has people who write for him. Sometimes we think maybe um, it's possible that he, some people speculate some of the thorn in the flesh was maybe an arthritis or something that made it impossible for him to write because he'd been beat up and smashed so many times that maybe his hands aren't really working well anymore. And so somebody else has to write. Um, later on, he'll say, I, Paul, am writing you. See how great big letters I write? Um, maybe that's because he couldn't write very small anymore, right? Maybe he had to hold that pen and and really scroll around. Anything else in this section? Caitlin? He does the closing, which he does at the end of all of his letters, where he's kind of praising God's work and tells them there's some mercy. This time he talks about the wisdom and the glory of God, right, through Jesus Christ. So, um, common... Uh, a common way to exit for Paul for a letter, um, and yet there are always some kind of interesting little things that he puts in there for each one. This time the wisdom is really marked in there. Anything else? All right. Then let's pray. Dear Jesus, please help Caitlin, Caleb, Izzy, Marcus, Mommy, Daddy, and all we know and love. Have a good night's sleep. Help them to fall asleep and sleep all the way through the night and wake up happy and healthy. In your name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This was our last online devotion here at the house, but that doesn't mean there aren't other devotions available um, on the church website. Um, you can find Mr. Hartwig's devotions if you haven't watched those yet, um, as he had devotions throughout the close of the school year. All of them are excellent. Um, the devotions that St. Peter's did uh, over the time of quarantine or safer at home are also available on that website and also the devotions that are available through the wells website are all are there too so a plethora uh, of devotions are there and not to mention you can always just pick up the bible and read a book god bless have a wonderful night